Magnus Carlsen is a highly accomplished Norwegian chess grandmaster, widely regarded as one of the greatest players in the history of the game. He's been crowned as the world chess champion a remarkable five times, in addition to holding the titles of World Rapid Chess Champion four times and World Blitz Chess Champion six times. Carlsen has consistently maintained his status as the world's top-ranked player in the FIDE World Chess Rankings since July 2011, with the exception of one month, and is second only to the legendary Garry Kasparov in terms of total time spent as the world's number one player. Carlsen's impressive achievements and consistent dominance in the game have firmly established him as a living legend in the world of chess. Today, we'll dive deep into the life of Magnus, exploring his achievements, his personality, and some of the quirky things that make him stand out from the rest. Magnus Carlsen was born on November 30, 1990 in Tonsberg, Norway. When he was just five years old, his father taught him to play chess. However, he didn't show much interest in the game until he was eight. It wasn't until he played in his first tournament at that age that he was hooked. Magnus quickly rose through the ranks of Norwegian chess players and became a national champion at the young age of 11. He also started to compete internationally and attracted the attention of famous grandmasters like Garry Kasparov and Simon Agdesti. At age 13, Magnus became a grandmaster, making him one of the youngest ever to achieve this title. He also broke several records for being the youngest player to beat a world champion, Anatoly Karpov, a world number one, Veselin Topolov, and a 2700-rated player, Alexei Shirov. In 2010, at the age of 19, Magnus became the world number one, surpassing Kasparov's rating record. He also won several prestigious tournaments, such as Wick on Z, Nanjing, and London. It is undeniable that Magnus Carlsen is a legend in the world of chess, and his accomplishments have cemented his place in history. Here are some of his best moments and what makes them so impressive. In 2013, at the age of just 22, Magnus Carlsen became the world chess champion by defeating Viswanathan Anand in Chennai, India. The match was highly anticipated, and Anand had been the reigning world champion since 2007. And, Carlsen was widely considered to be his toughest challenger yet. Despite the pressure, Carlsen proved himself to be a formidable opponent winning the match with a score of 6.5 to 3.5. The victory made Carlsen the second youngest world chess champion in history, behind only Garry Kasparov. In 2014, Carlsen successfully defended his title against Anand in a rematch held in Sochi, Russia. The match was closely contested, with both players winning one game each in the first six games. However, Carlsen pulled ahead in the second half of the match, winning two games and drawing two more to clinch the title with a score of 6.5 to 4.5. The victory cemented Carlsen's status as the top chess player in the world, and he was praised for his creativity and tactical brilliance on the board. In 2016, Carlsen faced off against Sergei Karjakin in a highly anticipated match held in New York City. Karjakin had been the surprise finalist in the tournament, having defeated several top players to reach the championship round. However, Carlsen proved to be too strong for the Russian, winning the match in a tiebreak after the players had drawn their 12 classical games. The victory was Carlsen's third consecutive world championship win and solidified his position as one of the greatest chess players of all time. Overall, Magnus Carlsen's world championship wins in 2013, 2014, and 2016 were some of the most memorable moments in the history of chess. Carlsen's tactical brilliance, creative play, and ability to perform under pressure have made him a true legend of the game. In 2017, Magnus Carlsen had an exceptional year, winning the Isle of Man Open with a perfect score of 9 out of 9. This is an incredible achievement in chess, particularly at such a high level of competition. He also played a remarkable queen sacrifice against Sergei Karjakin at the Norway Chess Tournament, which has since been voted as the best move of the year by Chess.com. This move is a testament to Magnus's incredible creativity and tactical brilliance, and is now regarded as one of the most unforgettable moments in the history of chess. In 2018, Magnus Carlsen once again demonstrated why he's considered a specialist in blitz chess. He won the World Blitz Championship with a stunning score of 17 out of 21, 
defeating Fabiano Caruana in a tie-break match to retain his world championship title. Although he drew all 12 classical games in the match, his exceptional performance in the tie-break showcased his ability to excel under high-pressure situations, further solidifying his reputation as one of the greatest chess players of all time. In 2019, Magnus Carlsen had an outstanding year, winning the Grand Chess Tour, a prestigious circuit of classical and rapid events that included the Sinkfeld Cup and London Chess Classic. He achieved his highest ever rating of 2,882 in May of that year, a remarkable feat that further cemented his place in history as one of the greatest chess players of all time. His consistent dominance in the game has earned him the nickname the Mozart of Chess, a tribute to his exceptional talent and creativity on the chessboard. In 2020, Magnus Carlsen shattered his own record for the longest unbeaten streak in classical chess, reaching an incredible 125 games without a loss. This accomplishment is testament to his exceptional skill and resilience, and it showcased his unwavering commitment to excellence on the chessboard. He also drew his last classical game as world champion against David Howell, setting the stage for his highly anticipated title defense against Ian Nepomniachtchi in 2023. In 2021, Magnus Carlsen continued to showcase his mastery of the game by winning the highly competitive Meltwater Champions Chess Tour. This series of online tournaments featured some of the world's best players, and Magnus emerged victorious after an intense competition. He also launched his own chess platform, View Plus, which offers fans a unique insight into his moves and thought processes in real time. This innovative platform has quickly gained popularity among chess enthusiasts worldwide, who are eager to learn from the master himself. Magnus Carlsen's contributions to the game of chess are immeasurable, and his legacy is sure to inspire generations of chess players to come. In 2022, Magnus Carlsen achieved several remarkable milestones in his illustrious career. He emerged as the triple world champion by winning both the World Rapid and World Blitz chess titles in Almaty, Kazakhstan in December 2022, which was his third time achieving this feat after 2014 and 2019. This remarkable accomplishment highlights his extraordinary skills and versatility in different chess formats and solidifies his position as one of the greatest chess players of all time. Magnus defended his classical world chess championship title against Fabiano Caruana in Dubai United Arab Emirates in November 2022, winning by a score of 7.5 to 6.5. This marks his fifth consecutive world title defense since 2013, and he further cemented his status as the dominant force in classical chess. Moreover, he broke the record for the longest unbeaten streak in classical chess, an astounding 125 games without a loss before drawing his last game as world champion against David Howell, setting the stage for his title defense against Ian Nepomniachtchi in 2023. Magnus's winning streak continued as he won the Tata Steel Chess Tournament 2022 in Week on Z Netherlands in January 2022, scoring 10 out of 13 and finishing one point ahead of Anish Giri. This was his eighth victory at this prestigious event, more than any other player in history. His performance rating of over 2,900 was the first time since January 2020, reaffirming his status as a dominant force in the world of chess. In September 2022, Magnus won the Norway Chess Tournament 2022 in Stavanger, Norway, scoring 19.5 out of 30 and finishing two points ahead of Levon Aronian. This was his fourth victory at this elite event, known for its innovative format and strong field. He maintained an unbeaten record in classical games, scoring six wins and no losses, highlighting his exceptional skills in this format. In March 2023, Magnus Carlsen played his last classical games as the reigning world chess champion at the Norwegian Team League in Oslo, Norway. During this tournament, he showcased his exceptional skill by drawing against David Howe and winning against John Ludwig Hammer and Arian Tari further solidifying his reputation as one of the greatest chess players of all time. Although he will no longer be defending his title in 2023 against Ian Nepomniachtchi, who won the candidates' tournament, Magnus Carlsen remains active and competitive in other chess formats, including Rapid and Blitz. He's also confirmed his participation in upcoming Grand Chess Tour events later this year, demonstrating his unwavering passion and commitment to the game.
It is noteworthy that Magnus Carlsen drew his final classical game as world champion against David Howell on March 10, 2023, marking the end of an era in chess history. Despite this, his legacy and impact on the game will undoubtedly continue to inspire and influence future generations of chess players. These are just a few examples of the many highlights of Magnus Carlsen's remarkable career. His passion for the game, his unwavering determination, and his exceptional talent have made him an inspiration to chess players and fans around the world. Whether you're a seasoned grandmaster or a beginner just starting out, there is much to learn from Magnus Carlsen and his incredible achievements. But what makes Magnus Carlsen so special? Let's take a closer look at some of the qualities that make him stand out from the rest. His intuition. Magnus has a natural feel for where to place his pieces and how to create problems for his opponents. He often finds moves that are not obvious or conventional, but are very effective. His memory. He has an incredible ability to recall games and positions that he's seen before. He can use this knowledge to avoid mistakes or exploit weaknesses. His calculation. He can visualize many moves ahead and evaluate complex variations accurately. He can also spot tactics and tricks that others might miss. His endurance. He can play long games without losing concentration or energy. He can also handle pressure well and cope with different time controls. His versatility. He can play any opening or style depending on the situation. He can be aggressive or defensive, positional or tactical, creative or pragmatic. But Magnus Carlsen is not just a chess player. He's also a human being with other interests and hobbies. He loves sports such as football, soccer, basketball, and skiing. He's even known to enjoy a game of frisbee now and then. Despite his impressive accomplishments in chess, Magnus Carlsen is more than just a world-class player. He's also an interesting and multifaceted person. For instance, did you know that Magnus has a wicked sense of humor? He's been known to crack jokes during interviews and banter with fellow players on social media. He's even starred in a few comedic sketches, like the time he dressed up as a cowboy and tried to teach people how to play chess in a saloon. Magnus also has a deep love for music. In addition to his favorite genres of rap, rock, and classical, he's also dabbled in creating his own music. He's even released a few singles, including Checkmate and Paradise. Another interesting fact about Magnus is that he's a big sports fan. He loves to watch and play football. That's soccer for our American viewers, basketball, and skiing. He's even participated in charity football matches with other famous athletes. And if all that wasn't enough, Magnus is also a polyglot. He's fluent in several languages, including English, Norwegian, and Danish, and can speak a bit of German, Spanish, and Russian as well. He's even been known to conduct interviews and press conferences in multiple languages. So there you have it. Magnus Carlsen isn't just a chess prodigy. He's a funny, musically talented, sports-loving, multilingual superstar. And he's not done yet. At only 32 years old, he still has plenty of time to continue his dominance of the chess world and pursue his other passions. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Magnus's life and career. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content, and check out our other videos on chess and other fascinating topics. Until next time, keep on playing!